the next question is an interesting one. And that is, when you have autism spectrum disorder, there are similarities to obsessive compulsive disorder. Now, first of all, there is one thing that those with ASD are very good at, worrying. For many with ASD, they are in almost constant high levels of anxiety. And the question is, how do you cope with it? There are many anxiety disorders, from generalized anxiety disorder, separation anxiety disorder, all sorts of anxiety conditions, including obsessive compulsive disorder. In OCD, for a typical person, they have a compulsion to do the act to reduce anxiety, but they don't want to do it, but they feel they have to is the only way of alleviating anxiety. In ASD, you have what we call special interests, a topic that the person finds absolutely fascinating. And for non-ASD people, neurotypicals, they think this is OCD because it's a compulsion and it, they seem to spend so much time engaged in this. But the difference here is that those with Asperger's enjoy their interest. It gives pleasure, success, the wow factor, self-esteem. But there are another two reasons. It energizes you when you are exhausted and depressed and acts as a thought blocker if you're anxious. And when you are very anxious and you have few methods of alleviating anxiety, then the special interest becomes a compulsion as one of the few strategies to reduce anxiety. So what is the difference between OCD and the special interest? It's whether it's resistible. If mum says, OK, finish your Minecraft now, and he says, OK, and has lunch, that's an interest. If he says, no, no, I must do it, I have to do it, that tells me he needs it psychologically to cope with his emotions. So there's a thin line between the two. Now, when OCD occurs and there is high levels of anxiety, then obviously we would use cognitive behavior therapy and the possibility of medication. So the two are not mutually exclusive. You can have both. And it is very important that anxiety is treated successfully in those with ASD to prevent obsessive compulsive disorder. There can be a developmental sequence in ASD and that is the person seems to be almost born with high levels of anxiety. But that is the feeling, and then actions are used to alleviate the feeling. But as the brain matures, there, there can be justifications of why am I feeling anxious? Ah, it is because of. And then a thought seems to be provided as an explanation. And so when we do cognitive behavior therapy, we call these thoughts poisonous thoughts, and we work on an antidote to a poisonous thought. But that tends to be those who are 8, 9, 10 years old. But later on, with the onset of puberty, with the hormonal changes, there can be an even greater increase in anxiety and a greater need for strategies to help manage the negative thinking that in one case may create anxiety, but over long term, that can actually lead to depression, as those who suffer from anxiety can eventually suffer from depression.